Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy 16 and we are currently in Drake's Breath. Looks a little bit hot in here. But don't worry. We got the Ice Queen with us and she's looking great and she's doing great and hopefully she continues to do great because if she dies here I am going to lose my shit. coming too. I was like, I was gonna say, like I needed to get the bombs before they explode. Oh, whoops. Stumbling on a path forward apparently. Um, okay, so that looks like it might end in a dead end, and this might be the actual path that we need to take. Hard hard to say for sure. Well, we aren't going this oh. way. Cool. Let's look for another path. <sighs> Drake's breath. We're nearly at the oratory. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. Nice try. Too bad. Kind of got him into a stun lock with half staggers into regular staggers there for a minute, so. Ooh, that might actually be an upgrade. Let's see, that was a bracelet, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, it seems like it'd be pretty easy to accidentally miss some alternate pathways. Okay, it looks like there's gonna be a big fight down here. That's a pretty big arena. She is sweating. They never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. Why attack us then? They're peaceful creatures. Then this one must be the exception. <laughs> Ah! 
damn, I'm missing everything. Okay, I thought that was an attack. It was not. I nailed that. I don't know what you're talking about. Got him. I did have to pop one high potion if you didn't notice. I try and call him out when I do him, but sometimes I, uh, I get too into the fight and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really bad at focusing on multiple things at the same time. So commentary usually is uh, secondary to, uh, to the fight. <laughs> uh, I recognize it's a skill issue. <laughs> you hurt. Just hot. Thank you. Quite a commotion our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this. Before the heat finishes me. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. We'll enter the Comric by the Handmaiden's living quarters. It was always a hive of activity. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Oh, the bishop's gonna be there. Or whatever they call him. Their religious guy. Their version of the Pope. Whoops.
Lady Molly. It's me. By the mother. Jill, it can't be. It is, my lady. Are these all Rosarians that were taken? I cannot talk here. Come with me. These might be some of the people that uh, they were using against her to get her to do stuff. Glad you're safe. And I, you. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me. Where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now. Giving thanks. And she seems real worried about that. Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. I'm scared of what giving thanks means. Now listen here, Jill. Sacrifice of some kind, probably? Yeah, <gasps> Man, one of those girls squealed. Traitors! Damn, she, she's gonna die. This girl's gonna die. For helping us. This way. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. They both know she's dead. I'll live if you promise to do the same. Come on, Clive. We're nearly at the Comrec. All right. Listen to that organ music. So cool. Okay, let's go. You guys ready to die? Because you're going to. Here's our welcoming party. I've had enough of their hospitality. Okay, those guys are all dead. Seems to be our way forward. Okay, no loot. You know I had to check. Thank you. 
How many of them are there? Too many. Oh, I thought I nailed that dodge. Twelve hundred gil, nice. All right, where are we going? Obviously not this way. Oh, there we go. Clive, there's something I need you to know. I saw the patriarch do things no one should have to see, and so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons. Then you must face yours. Okay, we gotta let you land that final blow. I hear you, girl. Let's get rid of a religious despot. I am down for that any day of the week. Ooh. Ooh, this looks fun. Let's go. Oh my god, look at that.
And I think we're actually, yeah, we're full up on all of our items too. Okay, what does it mean to offer thanks for this guy? going to be a sacrifice, isn't it? Yep, that was a body. Dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I've followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? And you slit their throats! Fiend. <laughs> Ooh, that delivery gave me chills. Their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid. Just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. Though not by either. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage. Be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Oh my god, chills. Kill them. I uh, getting chills. <laughs> the voice actors and the voice direction all deserves huge kudos in this game. God damn, Jill's got me all hot and bothered. Joshua's here.
You go, girl. Come on, you gotta start helping Clive right now. Please. Right now. Just once. Halfway there is good enough for now, buddy. She won't be able to hold that love back forever. God, he's fast. Let's try. Classic! <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, girl. Go. God, I'm really really worried about her, though. Right. She's using a lot of power. Oh, take long. God damn it, my dodges were completely opposite of where they needed to be. Hey, that was a high potion. Cause I'm doing terrible right now. Oh. 
God, why am I doing so bad in this fight? No idea what's happening. I'm late on all of those dodges. This is awful. I'm doing so bad on this fight. <laughs> Job me. All of that healing potential just gone. Okay, I popped another potion there. fights in the game easily easily one of my worst damn can't believe how poorly i did on that Do it, just don't overdo it. Here, use this. Okay, so she's gonna give us Shiva's power. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's to destroy the crystal. Yeah, I wonder if she will give us Shiva's power, though. I, it shouldn't kill her if she's not 
you know. Like, we saw that Benedicta survived after we took her power. Where did the bishop guy go? Icon is gone, my friend. Oh, we destroyed it. What? What? Monster! Monster! Do you have any idea what you have done? If it was a god, how did it die? Gods don't die, buddy. The monster! And become an outlaw! Damn! May the blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. Not much of a god she if it did. can die. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. You okay, Torgal? Is Ultima gonna show up again? What's going on? Okay, we good? Heard him growl and expected the worst. <laughs> Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Yeah. Ooh. You could see the bottom of it a little bit. One of them looked like Shiva. We need to leave. Agreed. Being weird, Joshua. I think that was Marley. So she's alive. Now you keep yours. Turn the corner. Okay, so if he's here then... The figure that we saw was Ultima. Okay. This way, Your Grace. Man, I'm confused. I'm confused. The connection between him and Ultima has something to do with this. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will... Uh, I thank you for your kindness. Truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please. 
Save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Look at his chest. By now, after five years of silence, I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Interesting. Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is. This truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals and yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Is that the first time we've heard her name? I think it is. You found a good one, Joshua. Whoever this girl is, keep her around. She is treating you right. Talk about loyal. Companion and protector of Joshua Rosfield, dominant of the Phoenix. As loyal as she is dangerous, her blade is ever at the ready for any who might mean her master ill. And her tonics ever at hand to heal the sickly prince's hurts. Joshua addresses her by the name... Yote, but it is unclear whether this is her true name or another pseudonym. Yeah, how did these, like, I need to know all of his story, I really do. We're going to get it before the end of the game, but damn. Keep her around, she, she's a good one, man.
And meanwhile, lots going on around the world. What's happening in uh, Dalmechia? The Ministry of Law. Army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on lane night. Would you rather we simply Fuck. fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut, and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. It's Annabella. Uh, what is, is that the Empress? What, now she's turning on the Empire? What is the meaning of this, Lord Kupka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. What the fuck does that mean? Explain yourself, what does that mean? Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. So rather than her coming to the Dalmechians, did he side with the Empire? Is that what happened? They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? Okay, so maybe she's doing it because of all of this happening and she doesn't want word out that Clive is Sid. It's funny, like, looking at her right now, like... Her face is, like, exactly the same as young Clive's. I didn't really notice that first time I played through. But yeah, like, <laughs> they have almost exactly the same face. I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Okay, he's trying to blackmail her. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. 
In return, I will leave Sandbrek in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. I don't get it. What is he getting from her? And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or Jesus. no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> yeah, she thinks highly of herself, doesn't she? She doesn't recognize the there monster she is. things in store for you. My darling Olivier, soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> soon. Are we supposed to believe that she's under the influence of Ultima in some way? I mean, even our uncle was saying that she's even worse than she was before. It implies something more is going on, but like... She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Is she at the infirmary? I think her fighting days are over. I'm worried about her. I really am. Alright. Well, this is where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.